What's the best reply to I love you if you don't love that person back? Story one. I remember once I was in college and a close friend of mine said I love you out of the blue. I didn't feel the same and in a moment of panic I replied thank you for being so brave to say that but I'm not there yet. It was an awkward silence afterward but I'm glad I didn't lead them on. We're still friends today though the dynamic was weird for a while. Story two. My ex once told me I love you and I couldn't say it back. Instead I said that means a lot to me but I need more time. It was true. I wasn't in love, and that response saved us both from a relationship built on unbalanced emotions. We ended things shortly after, but at least it wasn't a messy breakup. Story 3. A friend of mine told me he loved me after we had known each other for years. I cared about him, but I didn't feel the same. So I responded with, We're in the same book, just on different pages right now. He took it well, and we had an honest conversation about how I valued our friendship, but didn't see it progressing into something romantic. We're still close friends today. Story 4. I had a guy confess his love love to me after just three dates. I wasn't ready for that level of commitment, so I nervously said, that's really sweet, but I think we're on different timelines here. He laughed it off, but I could tell it hurt. We didn't go out again, but I think we both knew it was for the best. Story 5. Once, a colleague told me they had feelings for me, and I didn't feel the same way. I didn't want to hurt them, so I just said, I really appreciate you saying that. It was awkward, but it was the most honest thing I could come up with at the moment. We kept things professional after that, and it didn't affect our working relationship. Story six, I was dating this girl for a few months, and one night over dinner, she suddenly said, I love you. I was caught off guard and not on the same page at all. So I nervously replied, I feel very cared for by you. It wasn't the best response, but it was the most honest I could manage without pretending I felt the same. We eventually drifted apart, but it ended on respectful terms. Story 7. A good friend once told me, I've fallen in love with you. It took me by surprise because I didn't share the same feelings. I didn't want to break her heart, so I said, I feel so lucky to have you in my life, but I'm not sure I'm ready for that kind of relationship. She respected my honesty, and though things were awkward for a while, we're good friends today. Story 8. One time, a guy I was casually seeing told me he loved me, and I knew I wasn't there yet. I said, I think we're at different places in this relationship, but I respect your feelings a lot. It was hard to say, but I didn't want to lead him on. We decided to end things on good terms, knowing we wanted different things. Story 9. A girl I'd been friends with for years told me she had fallen in love with me. I didn't want to hurt her, so I softly said, I don't feel the same way, but I really value our friendship. She took it well, but things were a little weird for a while after that. We both gave each other space, and eventually, we fell back into being good friends. Story 10. I was dating this guy for a short time when he said I love you after just a few weeks. I wasn't ready to reciprocate, so I I said, that's really sweet, but I'm not in that place yet. He appreciated my honesty, but we mutually decided to end things because we were on different emotional timelines. It saved us both from unnecessary heartbreak down the road. Story 11. I was having a deep conversation with a friend one night when he confessed that he was in love with me. I wasn't expecting it at all. I took a moment and said, you're an amazing person and I'm grateful for our friendship, but I'm not able to return those feelings. He was disappointed, but we managed to keep our friendship intact, though it was a bit awkward for a while. Story 12. During a dinner date, a guy I was casually seeing looked at me and said, I love you. I wasn't ready, so I smiled gently and replied, that's a big feeling. I'm still figuring out where I stand, but I really enjoy spending time with you. He appreciated the honesty, and though things didn't progress romantically, we stayed in touch for a while. Story 13. A close colleague admitted one day that he had developed feelings for me. I didn't want to hurt him, so I said, I really value our connection, but I think we're better as friends. He was visibly upset, but he respected my boundaries. It was a tough moment, but in the long run, it kept our work relationship professional and clear. Story 14. One evening, a longtime friend confessed his love for me. I didn't feel the same way, so I said, I think you're wonderful, but I don't feel that kind of love for you. I hope we can still be friends. It was a hard conversation, but it was important to be upfront. We had a bit of distance after that, but we eventually found our way back to a comfortable friendship. Story 15. I was out with a guy I'd been dating for a few months when he told me he loved me. I wasn't ready to say it back, so I said, I really care about you, and I'm not there yet, but I want to keep building what we have. He was understanding, and it actually brought us closer as we continued to explore our relationship at a pace we were both comfortable with.